Sports at 50 Fiesta is here and there are loads of performances dotting the cityscape from dance to drama, movies, art exhibitions and so much more. A warm welcome to the show. I'm Melinda Akinlami. You know you can always count on us to bring all the interesting facts for you right here on Art House. But on today's edition, we'll show you Olua Mother's exhibition at Art 21 Gallery Lagos. Plus, we move to Ondo State where a group of students are exhibiting. We'll see this and so much more in a moment. Stay with us. Knowledge is the life of the mind. He's one artist that uses different materials in creating his works of art. We've seen many of them on the show, showing different installations and what have you. But Olua Moda takes a different approach in creating his works. And he shows this in his solo exhibition titled Index Season 2, which took place at the Art 21 Gallery in Lagos. Art 21 Gallery opens its doors to receive its renowned media artist Ulu Amada, who brings his latest body of works to display in an exhibition titled Index Series 2. works took about two years to create as he tries to use his pieces to discuss the political crisis which he feels pervades the world today. For the past two exhibitions I've been trying to deal with uh, issues of migration, migrants, you know, and um, also deal with the issue of uh, privacy within public space. So that theme is still running through. A lot of people who travel to the UK, to America, or to Europe, they go by a boat, you know. And uh, of course, uh, most people do not see that as one of those routes that take people out there. So it falls within the same theme, the area thing that I'm dealing with, yes. Amada's sculptures, he uses found objects to make figurative and abstract installations. The viewer can notice rusty nails, metal plates, bolts, pipes and more, all welded together to create figures and over bloated forms. I'm trying to investigate mm -hmm. where that nail comes from, how it was produced, who used it, and each nail that you extract has different you know, reaction from the crowbar. You might have about five nails holding the furniture. You try to extract three, the three will come out with ease. The third one or fourth one will resist you. And these are things that I find interesting about using those materials. Beyond the materials he uses and the way he has aesthetically pieced them together, the message this artist passes every time he exhibits is very key. He uses all this to explore some social political issues playing out in the country and the world. So he creates metal sculptures that evoke the changing colors of the four seasons, which is a reflection of the different stages a country goes through. 
At some points, there's always a deep divide, and this artist wonders why the gap has suddenly become so wide. I live and work in the urban setting, so everything that you see in the urban sprawl speaks to me. You know, I start my day, you know, reading the free newspaper online. And beyond that, I go to sports and then listen to politics, listen to all kinds of things that come my way. So I, if you see, I try to avoid some of those very traditional themes because I don't live in the villages anymore. I'm not that I'm not, I don't have that residual knowledge. But what I see every day from my house to uh, school, from school to where I see my friends or go to other shows, these are things that speaks to me. Leaves are usually green but change depending on the season. The leaves here play a bigger role. It's a reflection of how elections come every four years with a bag of empty promises and high hopes by some gullible electorate who fall prey every time. These leaves, you know, I will expect they should, you know, attract you more than the female form. But because we are sympathetic with the female form, it sticks to your head and you want to talk about that one. But it's about the object, what the object speaks to me. So sometimes I'm an accomplice, you know, I just have the materials. They want to be there and I can't but see that. pieces that compares individual leaves to human relationships. All bunched together, do we support each other enough or pull each other down, forgetting that no man is an island and we need each other in the journey of life? According to the artist, the freestanding sculptures, which are mostly female, is to broaden the sculpture vocabulary and the powerful role we all play in righting the wrongs in the society. It begins from one person and he has placed the burden on the women who are in charge of building great minds from the cradle. Mara Jones, like most Olympians who won gold and uh, true performance announcing trust, were caught and then they strip of their gold. But I'm using it as a metaphor to talk about the political circle. You know, I feel politicians who lie to us should also be stripped of their titles. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Every piece here has different challenges. Like if I work for the metal work, for example, the major challenge that one has is space. Two, 
you know, power. This artist also says that the family tree is a foundation which the society is built and they should not be thrown to the dogs so that things will not fall apart.